Good morning, YouTube. I'm Ian Elish back at you from right here at the Green Thought Garden Channel. And it is indeed feeding time down at our 1100 gallon koi and goldfish uh, pond in our backyard escape garden area. I'm going to flip this camera around and um, toss some food over here in this pond and give you a, a guys a quick look at uh, what goes on when these guys are actually hungry. I haven't fed these guys uh, in about two to three days now. So they should be pretty hungry at this point. Um, at any rate, I'm going to flip this camera around, toss some food over in the pond, and show you what happens. Hang tight. And here we go. As you can see, I've tossed some pellets out there in the center of the pond out there. Let's see if these guys are actually hungry. Oh, there we go. Sometimes it takes these guys a while to realize that there's actually food in the pond. Sometimes it doesn't take them very long at all. And I'm waiting on our huge uh, koi to make his appearance. His name is Ghost. It's a Japanese koi. He's snow white. He should make his appearance here uh, momentarily once he hears the uh, commotion going on over here on this side of the pond with his food. There he is. You guys see that white shadow circling? Looks like a great white shark over there. That's Ghost. That's our Japanese koi. And he has a huge shovel mouth. This guy gobbles up five, six, seven, eight uh, of those little pellets at a time when he comes up for some food. Again, I haven't fed these guys um, in a few days. But they should be pretty hungry here. Skeezers will tear me up down here, so I definitely won't be long down here uh, recording this video. We got some uh, moderate rainfall here last night, so it's nice and wet back here, and mosquitoes are out in abundance back here. So yeah, again, I won't be back here much longer uh, recording this video. One other thing I do want to show you guys while I'm down here. If you notice all of our wildflowers are gone. They ran their course here in our, um, around our garden pond. We recently came back here and harvested our uh, gladiolus and the bugs that were beneath those. We're currently drying those out on our front porch. I'm going to harvest those uh, bulbs and store those over the winter and replant those here again uh, in the spring. What we wanted to show you guys uh, is this right here. This thing has really gotten huge. And again, it is indeed in blossom here in our backyard. Isn't this thing huge? Nearly as tall as I am at this point. This is the largest it's ever uh, grown in one season um, here in our backyard. It's currently about three years old. Look at those blossoms down there. We've got one fully open and one forming right there. This is uh, the second time this year these guys have actually um, blossomed. We have two large ones here. And as you can see, we got a little pup over there on that side over there. And we got two over here actually inside the pond here that we're going to come um, here in over the next week or so and um, dig those up pot those and overwinter those um, inside somewhere um, during the winter. At any rate guys, thanks for watching. And if you are indeed currently watching this video and you're not subscribed to the Green Thumb Gardening Channel, please take this moment to press that subscribe button beneath this video, that like button, that notification button, and feel free to share this video with your friends and family if you don't mind.
Thanks. We really would appreciate it.